Now, we established that the directory that I was sitting in there was uh, slash home slash mvirtue slash course. That's, there's a concept there of sitting in a directory, which I haven't fully explained yet, but I will. What if we want to go to a different directory? Well, if we can identify a directory, if we can find a directory, and we have found one, we found one called subdir1, then we can use the program called cd, which stands, stands for change directory, to go there. Why would we want to go there? Well, the answer goes something like this. If I want to manipulate one of the files in the subdir1 directory, then every time I make reference to one of those files, I have to prefix each name with subdir1 forward slash and then the file name. That's that can get quite time consuming. If I want to do a lot of operations in that particular directory, it might be simpler just to go there. And if I go there, then I don't have to put that prefix in anymore. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, I can say ls subdir1 forward slash hello. And that gives me a listing of that particular file. Notice that I had to type in subdir1 forward slash before hello. I, if I just said ls hello, the shell has no idea what hello is. That's because hello is not part of the course directory that I'm currently in. It's part of the subdir1 directory. And I'm not in the subdir1 directory. So I either have to go into the subdir1 directory and then do my ls hello, or I have to type in the full path subdir1 forward slash hello and that can be time consuming, especially if I want to do a lot of things inside subdir1. So instead I type in cd subdir1 and press enter and nothing is output except you'll notice that my prompt has now changed. It now includes subdir1. Now when I do an ls I just get that and I can do an ls minus l minus l of hello and you can see that it's much less typing now to access the various files inside hello. So the point of this is using the CD program I can move wherever I want to go around in the Unix system. I can move from branch to branch if you like and the reason I need to move from branch to branch is it cuts down on my typing and that's the only reason. Okay now if I type CD just by itself and I don't specify the directory that I want to go to then the CD program will take us to our home directory. Now what is our home directory? Well, let's find out. I just type in CD by itself. And now what's the directory here? It's just a little squiggle. Now in Unix the squiggle is short for my home directory. It's a shorthand. It's a, it's a fast way of saying my home directory. But where is my home directory? Is there any way of finding out where I actually am? And the answer is yes. I can use a program called PWD, which stands for Print Working Directory, and it tells me that I am in slash home one slash mvirtue. And from there I can CD into course, perhaps do an LS, and so on. You might be confused about the fact that before I was in slash home slash mvirtue, and now I'm in slash home one slash mvirtue. Well, that's actually nothing to do with me or what I've done. That's just the way the Unix system is set up. Both slash home and slash home one both refer to exactly the same thing. Please uh, try not to let that put you off. So to summarize, use the pwd command to find out where you are at any time. Many of you will have logged onto a system where your prompt does not tell you where you are. So you'll find that pwd is one of your most used commands. That concludes the introductory discussion on files and directories.